Hey, how's it going? What you're looking at here is my latest and greatest uh, camera jib. This one here was actually pretty easy to build, and this one is rock solid. I'd put a video on on a PVC one, and this one basically consists of two six-foot aluminum one-inch pipes, tubes, where if you want, a person could do an eight-foot too, but we'll start from the back. I have the typical weights on there, and I think I have... 10 pounds of weights right now which is supporting a Nikon DSLR and I use a little clip spring clip right here basically to hold them on on the back side and then a bolt on the front side to where I just drilled some holes I don't know if you can see that but I can move it back and forth that way and as far as the mounting mechanism I just have a bar stock that I had heated up and bent that is 13 inches long and basically heated it up two spots, bent it, drilled the hole and tapped a quarter inch uh, tap through there to where you screw it right in a tripod mount. I drilled my holes and that's the framework for it and that seems to work quite well. Basically pull this pin here, which is quite simple. And you can then adjust your tilt on your camera versus tipping it up and down. And the brackets, if you can see there, there's two brackets. These are basically just bought. The holes are pre-drilled. They're a quarter inch. It's a three inch, basically a little bracket you can pick up at a lot of hardware stores and whatnot. I think I have a total of two three, four, five of them only, less than probably two dollars for them, and then you run quarter inch bolts through, and I just use two locking nuts for that, that part of it. And as far as the, the handle, I just heated up this handle right here, bent it up, and once it's cool, it stays quite well. As far as moving down, as you can see, there's the third bracket, I just spaced them roughly couple feet apart same thing I just have a washer in the middle for a spacer and out on the very end is uh, my Nikon DSLR which is quite heavy and I use a four inch angle bracket and basically just run a quarter inch bolt through the bottom to mount the camera on and everything is just quarter inch by two inch bolts and two pipes and probably I don't even think it's barely twenty dollars into the whole rig and it does seem to uh, work pretty decent it's actually real stable like I said that Nikon on the front there is quite heavy I'm going to spin this around just show you the mounting on it and you can see the front side here and I just I went to the hardware store and got this little plastic compression handle to go over the bolts or you can turn it on I got a little locking nut on the top flat locking nut they call it and real easy setup and taking it apart basically just pop the tripod out which I'll show you here Take it and haul it, put it in your car or whatever you want. That's why I stuck with it being a little bit shorter. Works quite well. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do some test footage and show you, like you said, 30 bucks at tops into this thing. More close, probably closer to 20. And quite an easy setup. Well balanced, as you can see, the wind's blowing it right now. Go ahead and do some footage. 